Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Survival in Project Zomboid. We are picking up here with our protagonist for Season 5, Mr. Wayne Jackson. Hold up on the second floor of this downtown office building. We found this in the last episode. Or actually no, in the first episode, didn't we? And we barricaded it in the last episode. We took some furniture, threw it up against the stairs. And you can see over here, we got a filing cabinet at the top of the stairs there. We got a lot of filing cabinets placed around doors and tables and hallways to try and make this as secure as possible. We've got ourselves a little storage room here, which is coming in handy. So we're keeping all of our books. We found, I think, all of the beginner books except for carpentry. We've got the carpentry for intermediates, but uh, otherwise we're looking pretty good here. We have started reading... The first aid for beginners at the end of last episode. And I think uh, we'll start reading some mechanics for beginners today. As someone dies a horrible death in the background. At the moment, it looks like things are pretty calm outside. We do have an alarm clock on us. Which is allowing us to see the time, which is 6.50am on April 15th. Which puts us at, I think, are we... Two days in now? A couple hours short of two days. Well, we do have uh, some bandages to take off here. We got scratched a couple times in the first episode. My guess is these are both healed now. Yeah, because they weren't really too bad. They were bleeding, but... Yeah, we're doing okay here. So we should have got a little bit of a... Uh, a small boost from the book. The few pages we read there. Yeah, 0.6 multiplier. So we're up to uh, 11 skill point or XP I should say in our uh, first aid let's hop outside we're gonna take a look around today I would like to find a sewing needle or a suture needle and some thread so we can make ourselves a proper bed instead of just sleeping on a wooden chair we don't have the required carpentry level to actually here's some thumping over here it's a zombie in one of these rooms. Don't have the carpentry level to actually pick up a existing bed, so... In lieu of not having the Carpentry for Beginners book, although we do have a boost from our uh, profession, 75% boost there, I think making our own bed for the time being will be the most efficient use of time but yeah I want to find a um, a good melee weapon it's all we have right now but we got our blades which are good for emergencies we have a frying pan in 100% condition we do have a hammer but it's pretty low condition I'd like to find a better hammer so I kinda like using the hammer last season got quite a few zombies there this might be a restaurant here Always on the lookout for food. Might be worth poking our head in here. Got a couple broken windows on the back if we need to. Go in there. Here's some thumping in there as well. Some broken windows on the front here. Clothing store. We do need a, a, a vest. So it might be worthwhile going in there. We are staying... Across from the Riverside Suites. Yeah, let's, actually, let's actually switch out to our frying pan. And we'll save our knives. We only have a few right now, so... Oh, and I didn't actually equip this. Let's wash up this dirty rag. Put those away. Our only bandages at the moment. All right, well, they busted out a window to the uh, restaurant there. That's actually kind of nice. Or broke in. Oh, broke out. All right, that's probably going to attract some people. All right, one's coming from uh, the south here. Another broke window. Try and do a good job of keeping up with killing zombies. Let's 
So we do have a two week respawn. So we should be able to see some progress if we keep up with killing zombies every day. In theory. Last season not so much because we were playing on the insane zombie count. But playing on high, perhaps we'll be able to see a difference in the world. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Lots of thumping. So let's try and search this as fast as we can. A uh, kettle could come in handy. Boiling water. Uh, we should take a mug if we ever do want to have a coffee. Cupcake. Get some sugar. More cupcakes. Oh, an extinguisher. That might come in handy. Rotten. All right, let's uh, search this before they bust through that door. Oh God, <laughs> just like that. All right, I didn't get that sugar. That's fine though. All right, that's about all this place has to offer. Let's get out of there before that small group bursts through. Let's see if we can find a vest or a sweater in here. Might as well remove broken glass. The less broken glass out there, the less chance of us cutting ourselves. Some pants. Uh, there's a blouse. Six temperature. I think a vest is a little bit warmer. If we could find a vest. Sweater 15, and that's too warm. There might not be any vests here though. School bag. School bag, shoes. Change rooms back here, I would think. Yeah, okay. Let's just grab one of these blouses. That should be enough to uh, keep the chill off. Could start picking up hardware. There's quite a few at that urn section. Let's drag this up here. A little bit hungry, a little bit panicked. do have the stout trait, so we're a little bit stronger, but we're also very underweight. But uh, I don't think we'll stay underweight for very long. I'm sure we'll be able to gain that weight back uh, in a week or two if we can survive that long. Alright, they're moving up. We're moving over at least. We want to make sure we don't attract the uh, the group leader. So I'll just make things harder for us. Come on. I know you have superhuman strength, but you're supposed to be fragile too. I'm not sure how that's even possible, but... Alright, let's just skip by that group for now. Take care of the stragglers. And then we can worry about the big groups. Alright, so the vest is... Actually, oh, the blouse is actually more than the vest, temperature-wise. Thought it'd be the other way around. Oh, I don't want to hit the trees. 
That <gasps> makes a lot of noise. Yeah, I don't want to run either. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Good. Yeah, chopping trees makes a lot of noise. Not something we want to do. If we can help it. We need to get some food soon here. Oh god. Oh god. Crawlers are not a good thing. Now, did we check this out last episode? I don't think so. Let's see. No, we still got stuff here. I'm guessing all the, yeah, it's all fruits and veggies there, so that's going to be all bad. But we do have a lot of junk food here, which will be good for helping us gain some weight. There we go. Chips and soda. Chips and chocolate. Chips and chocolate. Some salt. Candy package. Right on. Looks like we have a kitchen here as well. Nope. Back door. Up again. Don't need that. Yeah, it's all rotten stuff. And uh, we do have a weak stomach, so we don't really want to risk eating that stuff. Not when there's perfectly good chips and chocolate to be had. Okay. Well, let's head down west past our building. Let's see what else we can find. This seems to be the main street. Oh, uh, another possible grocery store or a sweet shop. Oh, that's a pretty big group. There's no broken windows that I can see. So if that door's not unlocked, I think it's a little difficult. Ah, uh, I don't know if I want to take on that many. I think if I get to that door, they'll see me. Let's go around back. It's probably a back door too, for deliveries. Or not. Oh, here's one. Locked. Alright, we got a car that looks like it's in good condition here. It's a pretty small trunk. Let's pop the hood. Uh, not too bad condition. Could use some new tires. Gas tank is empty, battery is dead. Is there a key? It's locked. It's off to the driver's seat. No key. And another door here. And a delivery van back there. I kind of want a different vehicle this time around. We tried the uh, delivery van last time. I feel like it was a pretty loud car, though. So I think a... Um, one of those, like, uh, six-seater vans... 
That would be good, because they have a big... I think they still have a trunk. They have a lot of, um... It's 20... 20 weight for each seat. So, you definitely hold a lot of stuff in there. Might want to have a quick bag of chips here. Get a little bit of a uh, strength boost. No, no. Let's have another one. There we go. Just so we're not hungry. Come on. Come on. We'll check out the van. At the very least, it could have a battery. Probably not. Most likely going to find a battery if we do. In a gas station or a shed. Garage, something like that. Come on. Oh, that was a crawler. That was a crawler. Could also find more stuff inside cars now. They kind of changed that um, a few weeks ago, right? A few updates ago. All right, battery dead. Gas tank empty. Unlock the trunk. No key. Nothing in the back. All right, one ten in the afternoon. Still a lot of time in the day here. I want to get inside this building, though. Everything is locked. Oh, construction. Oh, okay, we've been to this construction site. I think we ran past here last time in the last season. Or drove past when we were looking for the gas station, which means the gas station should be close too. Alright, that group is still there, but we might be able to get into this one. Well, this is a furniture store. No alarm? Okay, good. I don't know if there's going to be anything in here we'll want. Although we could grab stuff for barricade. Or maybe we should grab a, a chair. Probably be better to sleep on one of these than the wooden chair we have. Let's actually do that. Come on. Okay. Let's grab uh, like this one here. A yellow modern chair. Yeah, nothing there. Okay, uh, let's see. Will it fit in our bag? Yes, it will. Let's toss that in there. Go around the back here. We'll drop this chair off and... A little bit of other stuff that we've picked up along the way. Should be able to run past here without being noticed. I don't think there's really... Oh, nope. Stand corrected. There's a few zombies there. Okay. Is it just three? We can take care of three. Someone follow her. There we go. Get over to this guy. Alright. Nothing. 
awesome. Okay, is our sheet robe still there? I think it is, yep. So we'll take this couch. Um, I don't know if we should sleep in here because the window's open. Probably be a bit colder. I did sleep last night in here. So let's make this our bedroom. Right, so let's unpack that. Let's put it down. Uh, let's put it down in the corner here. Okay. Drop off the food items that we've got. Some cupcakes. Uh, let's actually eat a cupcake. The stuff in there. Okay, and we'll keep the mug on us. The rest of the stuff can go in here for now. I think we'll toss the extra can opener in the empty tin can. Toss that in there for now. All right. Still need to find a proper watch. Be better to have a, a watch than this alarm clock. This alarm clock does weigh half a unit. Not a lot, but it's not... Not nothing. Okay, let's keep pushing the way we were. Head back this way. Oh, there goes an alarm. Let's actually run back to our place. Sounds like it's up there. Can we get to our... I don't want to risk it. Let's remove that. And let's see where people are going. Yeah, they're moving that way. Up towards, uh, I believe the river's just up there, right? So... Obviously... The building had an alarm. Okay, we might be getting zombies in our building here. Here and thumping. We could possibly make it upstairs. Just try and be quiet. Might be wise to put a uh, sheet rope out this window too. Right, I think most of them have gone around our building. Yeah, so let's grab a book, and we'll just read for an hour. So it's 4 p.m. We might, I don't know, maybe we just want to stay inside for the rest of the evening here. Uh, let's grab our mechanics for beginners. Try and get a good chunk of this red. Yeah, we're already, we're a little bit tired too, so. With uh, more zombies moving around out there, uh, might be a good idea too. I'm actually going to read in this room. Um, just in case zombies do break in, then we can put the sheet rope out and jump out. So let's start reading this. I think we'll just read until we're really tired. Try and make it to like 10 o'clock or so. 2200 hours. Uh, we could really speed things up. It goes very fast though. We're almost halfway through this. They need a speed in between fast and very fast. 
cat eyes kicked in there. A little bit thirsty. We're ridiculously tired. We're very close to being done that book. I don't think anyone's up here, but just play it safe. Let's put this away. Uh, let's go fill up our bottle at one of these bathrooms. Uh, should we take a look at the stairway? Let's make sure that filing cabinet's still there. It is. Okay. An alarm worried me a bit. We'll take a look downstairs in the morning. Let's close that. We'll eat something in the morning as well. Alright, 11 uh, or 10.30. Alarm is set for 6.20 a.m. Sleep. And uh, we'll make sure we get this turned off as soon as it goes off. So probably do have zombies downstairs. Oh. Yeah, something woke us up. Okay, let's turn this alarm off. Uh, no, still a little bit of minor pain. I'm not sure if that chair is any better than the uh, the wood one here. It's probably just a nightmare. But uh, we'll double check the stairway again. It's still okay. All right. Slight pain. Let's see here. That doesn't look too bad right now. Let's add a sheet. It's 4.50 a.m. So we should have enough light to inspect our immediate surroundings. I want to check the main floor of our building. Any zombies that were here have all moved north. Yeah, we got some inside. Alright, these are locked. Start removing glass. Alright, so pulling some out. In. Let's unlock these doors. Okay. I need to eat something. Yeah, don't scratch me. Check these tables. They're both still good. Door's fine there. We got our filing cabinet here. All right, let's uh, remove this broken glass. Let's clean things up a bit. Oh, don't know why I can't. Do this one, there we go. Oh, empty bottle and a garbage bag. A couple things we missed. Alright, one lone zombie here. Let's take them out and then we'll uh, continue pushing west. I guess actually there's some broken windows on this building now. So we can actually check this place out. Be careful, there might be someone in the kitchen. Ooh, a flashlight. Nice. 
That's a good find. Nothing in there. Oh, okay, we got a few here. Okay. I think we didn't push right away into that back room. Hmm. I want to get out of here. Fight him out in the street. Zombies seem to be a little bit better at pathfinding. I feel like before they would just incessantly, or that one would have incessantly banged on that window until it broke instead of trying to find an easier way to get to us. It should keep us on our toes more. Come back in here. Anyone else? No. Tissue... Concrete powder, okay. Do we need concrete for anything? I will remember it's here. I know you need concrete a lot in Hydrocraft, but I can't remember. Do you need it in the base game at all? Battery backup for our flashlights. This is like a... <laughs> a strange mix of items in here. Rotten, rotten. Rotten, rotten. Uh, it's like a bakery, and then there's like hardware items. Careful that front door. And like a butcher. Strange combo. Let's check this back. And a kitchen. Thumping behind that door, it sounds like. Let's check these quickly. Processed cheese. Mayonnaise rotten. Cold pack, okay. You can use that to make a smoke bomb, right? No, nope, not in there. This back door, I guess. No? Next door? Must be that door. Alright, how's our bottle doing? We have an empty bottle there. Uh, it's still pretty full. Let's hop out. Got four out front. Let's take care of them. hardware. I don't think we'll need that many doors, but we'll be ready. All right, more clothing. So all clothing. Clothing and books. Carpentry for beginners. There we go. few back there. That's more than I want to take take care of right now. All at once at least. Oh yeah, there's a good half dozen there. Just fall back. We'll finish this group. And we'll call it a day. Take a quick 
quick look at our skills. Our blade guard has a little bit of experience there. Our agility is actually going up at a nice rate. get back to being the sneaky ninja that we were last season. Right, come on. Quite hungry. Could be affecting our pushback capabilities. Alright, check bodies. There we go. There's a watch. Uh, no alarm set. Perfect. Let's put that in our backpack. Alright, I think that's a good note to end off on. Let's call it a day. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. As always, leave me those comments and suggestions down below. I'll just let you know that I have not turned a deaf ear to some of your requests for a 7 Days to Die series. We will be picking that game up I think after we uh, the, do the new PC build so within the next uh, I would say within the next month we'll probably see a 7 days to die series I do have another uh, co-op series uh, planned out for you guys so stay tuned for that um, I'll probably make an announcement on Twitter so make sure to follow the channel at Nomus Plays to keep up to date uh, with all the going on behind the scenes and until next time, I'll talk to you all later.